Yo, this is Eternal Place, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. We have been through the Eastern Palace and we're now only away from fighting off the boss of the dungeon, which carries the Pendant of Courage. One of the three pendants we need to get the Master Sword. So we've gotten some cool stuff, including a new weapon, the Bow and Arrow, which is the main treasure of this dungeon. And with that, let's go and meet the boss. What should we say? Not yet, though, but... Kill these enemies first. Bring some rupees. Remember, you can't, you can't really uh, damage these uh, things here. Let's go forward. And... Shoot, 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 shoot. The last guy won't leave us alone, so let's just wait for it. And shoot, shoot twice. Pick the arrows so we can have them all ready. You ready? Go forward and meet the actual boss of the Eastern Palace. Here they are. Six armored things, which now can move. They can be pretty nasty. Move in a direction. The key here is to basically deal damage to them. And they're weak to arrows. There's six of them, so you need to damage them a lot. Just shoot your arrows like cra crazy like this, it's an easy way to kill them all. But what happens though when there's only one left? The one turns red and we'll try to smash you. So just move around and then charge your sword and blast. Being more lucky, you can not shoot arrows at him. Just be careful, though. Maybe then go down, and then go far up. And you win. Not a very hard boss, pretty simple. And there we have it. The Pendant of Courage. We get a hard container, which you always get from defeating a dungeon boss. And we've gotten our first of three pendants to get the Master Sword. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sahasrala. Two pendants remain. Pretty cool. So that was one. Oh, you see the arrow is also stronger than the sword. You can take these blue things with two hits instead of three with the sword. So that means you probably have a power of two instead of power of one. Let's jump down here and meet with Sazarala or Solzamania and see what he has to say. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage! Now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Helia. These Knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Link, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants. And carry this with you. This is a treasure passed on by the families of the Wise Men. I want you to have it. And we get the Pegasus Shoes. Now we can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in the cave in the east of the side of Lake Helia. Get it. So now if you hold on the A button, we can run like crazy. Before we go though, make sure to blow up this hole here. Aha! Treasure chest with 50 rupees, 150 rupees, and what a bombs! 551 rupees right now. Man, I'm feeling very, very nice.
See, the attack power of a dashing is basically the same as a regular dash, though, but at least this will make us quicker to travel around in Helias, so it's pretty nice. Or not Helias, eh? in Hyrule. Helias, basically the people of uh, Hyrule. It's called Helians. Plus, we also have the water in the south, which is called Lake Helia. So, the Saraza says to us to go to the south to collect an item, but we have other business to do. Because now that we have the Pegasus Boots, as well as the Bow and Arrow, more importantly the Pegasus Boots, we can get access to another hard container, which is located uh, nearby. So, to get there, just travel like this, just screw these people, you don't need to worry about them. Now head over to the sanctuary, to where we met with the priest. Let's see, you go up. then you go here, up here, and then you keep going right. You see this still thing here? We can't move this thing, that's not possible, right? But, what if you have... Oh, whoa. Get away from me, you freak! Now, what if you run into them? Boom! Secret entrance. Inside here, there's a chest of chest with... A heart piece! Nice! You need only one more heart piece to collect another heart container. Unfortunately, though, we won't be able to collect another heart piece for a little while. Not like a long while, though, but yeah. We have to go to the next dungeon first in order to collect the eighth heart piece to fulfill another heart container. But we'll get there. Still think we're in final. We have six heart uh, containers right now. Think about it though. When we started this adventure before we re when we rescued Zelda, we had only three hearts. Now we have six. So I think this has been a uh, great uh, accomplishment so far. Just run down south. So, the old man told us to go to the southern part, which we're gonna do right now. Ouch. Hey, that hurts. Took some damage there, but okay. If you do wanna do some fortune telling, you can do that. If not, then just keep heading south from here. Watch out for this crab here. You can walk very fast when it walks uh, sideways. But if not, it's not going to be too much of a bother. This uh, black uh, thing here, it means that this is a very heavy object, so we can't really do much about that for quite some time. But don't worry, we'll do something about the black rocks later on. Get a heart piece again, that's pretty good. So we can uh, recover some health, because we took some damage there. Oh yeah, you can also rush through this... Uh, this plane's ouch. Jump down here. And go east from here. And rush through. <laughs> That's far rush. This thing just blew up into small things. Not much to worry about, though. Right, so far gotten so good. Um, let's get this thing here. Get this thing here to get us some more money. We're almost the location where it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go in here. This place looks to be frozen. Like an ice cave. But we can blow up this thing here. Let's do it. Ah, Ferris. Thank God, fair Ferris. So if you go away west of here... Ah, there's a treasure chest, but it's on the other side. Okay, I guess we have to do something to get the chest in, don't we? Probably have to. So... Let's see if this thing can blow up. Aha! Didn't make the same sound, but it said it was something weird. Go inside, and there it is. Let's collect. There's a chest we were told to get. It's the ice rod. It chill magic blast air, but watch your magic meter. Yeah, this thing here is very, very powerful, but it 
takes a lot of magic. Check out magic meter now. Now it's full up, right? But check the amount of magic magic it will take away. Yeah. Cool, though, we can actually lift our enemies. Use them as objects. That's kind of rude. If you want to be more rude, hey, swim. Bye. <laughs> but as you can see, the magic made it was drained a lot. We. Compared to the magic powder and so on, it's pretty heavy. So now we have the far right part of the map. The next one is the far left, and then we have to go to the north afterwards. But be able to do something else. Do you remember when we met with this guy at the yep two episodes ago when we were collecting the heart piece at the Desert of Mystery? He said that if you had the Book of Medora, then it will tell you the path to get further, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do next. Ouch! You fiends, get away from us. There we go. So that means we have to go and get the Book of Medora. Where's the Book of Medora, though? Well, we were here, or we were there, when we were in Kakariko Village to collect some heart pieces. Remember the library place we were in? Yeah. That's exactly where we are supposed to go. So let's do that right now. Well, that was a nice, uh, nice hit there, getting some more enemies taken down. It's blasting throughs. Bye bye. Catch me if you can, but you cannot because I'm quicker than you. We're back now in Kakariko Village, which is to the left and part. Oh, ah, oh, me! Don't hit me. I'm friendly, I will take your honey. There we go. Now we can't reach this thing here, right? Can't even move, we can't even budget. No. No. But if we can't grab it, how about we force it down? Aha. We get ourselves the Book of Medora. This is to read the ancient language of the Helia. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Not just pretty cool, it's very, 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 very cool. Alright, so now that we have the Book of Medora, we have the Ice Rod, we basically have what we need now to go for the next pendant. The Pendant of Power, which is located in the southwestern part of Hyrule, the Desert Palace. So we know how to get there, we were here some episodes ago. Just a quick memory, I'll show you how to get there. Just go like this, south. You can't move this big rock here, so you have to move around to get there. We should move these big rocks, don't you? Of course you do. For now, we cannot do anything about it, so let's just do this and just rush through the planes. Go down here. Yeah, anyway, this is where we met the, the sign guy. He doesn't want to speak with us, apparently, but that's fine. He can do whatever he wants. And here we are. We are now here at the, des at the Desert of Mystery. So we also have the pendant located in the dungeon upcoming ahead. So next episode guys, we're gonna go enter Desert Palace, we're gonna collect another pendant. And then we're gonna go for the last pendant located in the far north at the Death Mountain. Before we finally go to the Lost Woods, collect the Moss Swords, before we take on Aghanim and the Wizard of Evil. To save the world from bad stuff. But where did all those uh, girls end up in, though? That's a question. Have to get answered. Get away from me, Vulture! I'm trying to speak here. Which is annoying. Doesn't really do anything else, just being in the way, though. There we go. Next episode, guys, we're gonna enter Desert Palace, get another pendant, and then we'll move it from there. 
like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and that's good for now. I'll see you guys next time with my journey. In the Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past continues.